Hello everyone and welcome back to another service video. Today we're going to talk about tracking down a ground fault on a VFD in one of our control packages. Be sure to follow all safe work practices, especially the use of PPE. All circuits should be de-energized prior to any wiring or service. Remember, many of our controls will have more than one circuit that will need to be turned off. After de-energizing the circuit, verify that the circuit is dead, then lock out and tag the breaker. So first let's talk about what the fault is. A ground fault simply means that there's a short to ground somewhere between the VFD itself and the motor that it's supplying. So if you notice here, I have this VFD and it's flashing SP. SP is start pending is what SP stands for. And that's a four minute delay. So what this VFD is gonna do, it's gonna try to start, goes into fault. It starts flashing SP. Four minutes later, it's gonna try to start again on its own. It's gonna try to send power to that fan. If it faults again, it's gonna go do this four minute delay. If it does that four times in a row, it eventually goes to fault lockout and the display will say LC. So if you ever get to somewhere and you have a VFD where it's displaying LC, that's fault lockout. The only way to reset a lockout is to cycle power to the drive. So while it's showing SP on the drive, you can push the stop button and it'll show you the fault. FOF1 is a ground fault. So if you look in the lens manual, it's gonna say ground fault. So now let's talk about how to find that fault, where it is in the circuit. Start by getting the VFD to a stopped condition or powered down. Then turn off the disconnect to the fan that the VFD is controlling. Now restart or power up the VFD. If the VFD starts to count up normally, that means that your short exists between the disconnect and the motor on the fan. If, however, you get the fault again, the short is before the disconnect. If this is the case, then stop the VFD as before, disconnect the load wires from the VFD or at the quick disconnect in the control package and restart the VFD. If the VFD starts up normally, then you know your short is between the VFD and the fan disconnect. If the ground fault still exists, the fault is in the VFD and the VFD should be replaced. Following these simple steps will help you find the ground fault in your fan circuit and save you time and frustration. If you have any questions about this video or any of our products, feel free to contact our tech support team. Thanks for watching.